The only person winning in this whole situation is Kevin Smith's wife's boyfriend. Because the final episode of Masters of the Universe Revelations culminates with Kevin Smith getting pegged. I guarantee it. Now Masters of the Woke Verse, she ma'am, Women Powers is out now on Woke Flex. And so allow me to congratulate you on the pilot episode. It will get zero views on Netflix. I genuinely hope that it bombs just as much as the United States women's soccer team opener. Because those women sucked balls and I don't just mean that figuratively. Okay, okay, look, joking aside. Everything that we feared about she ma'am and the mistresses of the universe, the masters of the scissoring has come true. It's the Tila show with He-Man getting sidelined and Orko dying. And you see, this would be the point where I'd normally say, ah oh, sh**, here we go again. But I honestly don't feel like repeating myself a couple of quintillionth times. It's the usual bait and switch that we all expected since day one. Pretending to sell us on a He-Man show when in actual fact, you're going to give us a Tila Zilla show. I mean, the creators of this show really didn't learn a single thing from The Last of Us 2 and Star Wars The Last Jedi. These weirdos always seem to say, expectation subverted, like it's a good thing. No, it doesn't. It just literally means we troll the audience. Bravo. Maybe we can all subvert their expectations and nuke this show from all orbit on Rotten Tomatoes. Now, Game of Thrones really f***ed up storytelling real good now, didn't it? Because now every hack writer thinks killing off or sidelining a fan favourite character off is good storytelling. <laughs> anyway, look, imagine turning a show named He-Man into a feminist show. Tila Zilla looks more like a man than majority of the feminist SJW men out there. She even has the stereotypical strong independent woman haircut. I mean can you get any more unimaginative? That is pathetic. Let me make this perfectly clear. There is nothing progressive about adding masculine physical characteristics to a female character and then claiming that now she's empowered but what you're in advance Invertingly admitting is that the only way for a woman to be empowered is by looking like a man. Which is, dare I say, kinda sexist. But of course, Kevin Smith didn't include any strong male character because he doesn't know what it means to be one. So of course he doesn't know how to write them. But look, we have another great universe subverted once again by people who do not know or care about it. Star Wars, Star Trek, Ghostbusters and now He-Man, all solid franchises that were obliterated by writers and producers that have nothing but contempt for fans. Look, if you can't respect the source material, then don't touch it. It's really that simple because Netflix had one job. Just give us a big guy who rides a green tiger fighting a magic skeleton. That's it. One job. It's actually real hard to mess that one up, but Netflix manages to somehow snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Now, if you ever see any good title being rebooted with the words Netflix on it, yeah, you better worry. Anyway, I wonder who is responsible for another woke destruction of a long, long time beloved franchise. Well, after spending weeks attacking YouTubers, calling them all sorts of names like liars, regardless by the way of how many woke red flags there were around this, only for everything to be proven true. This loser did the classic Hollywood trick of backstabbing fans who believed in him no less and then using their nostalgia to fund his garbage. Kevin Smith deliberately lied to everyone and gave us false hope of a decent show. I knew he had something to hide when he kept going after Clownfish TV. This deceitful, dishonest scumbag used all of his media contacts to shame Clownfish and all the other YouTube critics like myself when he fully well knew that we were all correct because attacking fans is always good business, right? Well, Kevin Smith is in big trouble and maybe if he wasn't so thoroughly duplicious, he might be getting an easier ride. He is finally getting exposed for the poser he's always been. He deserves all of the ridicule and shame he gets. I mean, even Grace 
fucking Randolph, who is herself a wacky, nutty, woke queen. Even she ripped the show apart. I mean, what a trash fire. It's amazing how a so-called A-list director like Kevin Smith is allowing a couple of YouTubers to live in his head rent-free. I mean, I doubt the likes of Spielberg, Tarantino, or Christopher Nolan would allow that. Anyway, let's play a clip of the ignorant gamers network IGN, who are typically a shill website for Hollywood. Expose Kevin's lies. Roll it. You can never forget. Prince Adam and He-Man, voiced by Supergirl's Chris Wood, are important, but they also serve as a backdrop. In a manner similar to how Max serves as a secondary lead to Furiosa in Mad Max Fury Road, Revelation draws upon the might and majesty of He-Man to facilitate other characters' arcs. Basically, this is T-less series, and in taking this approach, Revelation can act as both a stunning sequel and also a wondrous what-if style spin. Kevin Smith represents to me everything that's wrong with Americans. He is a 50-year-old hyper-emotional man-child, like most of the dudes on the far left. I mean, he looks like that hello fellow kids meme with Steve Buscemi. And I'd honestly rather hang out with Steve Buscemi any day of the week. Dear Kevin, number one, you did this to yourself. Number two, put your hat on straight. You're supposed to be an adult now. Now this Hollywood show Chill cried over the rise of Skywalker, calling it God's work. See, this is the kind of soy boy that we're dealing with. He cries so much. Maybe it's because of the increased estrogen from being a vegan. But he claimed that the rise of Skywalker would melt our minds, and I'm still wondering what the f he actually meant by that. But the bottom line is he's an overrated douchebag who got caught lying, so he's perfect for today's Hollywood. He's woke. He's progressive and he's completely lacking in any talent or originality. But his antics as of late seem to be a desperate attempt to keep Kevin Smith's name in the press. He's been living off his past accomplishments for a while now. Just like everybody else in Hollywood, he's not worthy of such a memorable franchise. Kevin Smith survived his heart attack at the cost of his masculinity and integrity. That is a fact and now he will play a full on victim for everything he's done despite being proven proven as a total liar. But this goes to a bigger problem. Hollywood needs to be banned from making reboots. Because all reboots are, especially in their hands, is when you cannot think of original characters. So they need to exploit the viewer's wallet for their nostalgia. Listen, you have a choice. Produce woke trash and appeal to the Hollywood woke crowd or appeal to the people who actually consume the product by leaving out the stupid politics and focus on making a good story. These purple haired fairies need to accept this simple truth. But I will say this though, the drama that surrounds the modern day Hollywood productions is far more entertaining and engaging, might I add, than anything they've managed to put out on our screens in years and on that bombshell. Manix out.